Hi and welcome to this week's episode of Daydream District Discovers. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR, so if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now. In this week's episode, I'm going to discover a game called Vaporwave, not Vaporware, very important distinction. And Vaporwave was done by three Swedish engineering physics students and I'm going to check out their game now. As you know, in this show it's all about discovering interesting new apps or games or even services, anything around Daydream VR that you would normally not so easily discover. So this week it's going to be Vaporwave by three Swedish students. And now let's change into to the mode where you can see what I'm playing. And let's discover this together. All right, as you can see, I have all the apps currently available for Daydream VR. So let's find Vaporwave. Made with Unity, the personal edition. Okay. So this looks like some cool 80s style, I would say. And we have, we choose the sound and we can simply play and let's simply play. I have this kind of weapon here. I'm quite sure I have to shoot something with it. Okay, so easy, normal, hard. Let's choose normal. And here's the first wave. Probably this is a vapor wave. All right, I have those cubes coming up to me. Oh, that was easy. And now I have some more cubes coming up to me here. Wave 3, burst. So far, the cubes are manageable. And wave six. Okay, something is happening. This thing is coming at me here now. And what does it do? It sends more cubes to me. Okay, this this game is all about destroying cubes. So if you are programming a daydream VR game as well, and you would like, whoops, oh shit, this came very close. And if you would like me to discover your game and play it on a Friday, on a, on a Friday, on a daydream district discovers day. Please simply connect with me at sebastian at daydreamdistrict.com. Tell me about you and tell me about your game and I might play it here. So I think I just lost. I didn't even see that I that something hit me, but oh no, the game is paused. We start good. I don't know what just happened. But it seems I lost and have to play again from the very first, first beginning. So I was just saying, if you if you have a game and you want me to check it out, send uh, an email to sebastian at daydreamdistrict.com or connect with me on Twitter at daydreamdist and I might check out your game, app, service or whatever you would like me to check out and which has anything to do with 
Daydream VR. So now I'm um, again uh, here at uh, wave 4. I think those three students from, from Sweden, they did a good job here with this game. Just the own... Oh, again, I don't know what happened. Again, I'm dead, but I didn't... Seems I didn't really lose. Okay, I'm going to try one more time to play this now. So I have a big feedback for you guys. I think there's something wrong with your game. <laughs> it seems I lose without really being hit. So one more chance. Let's do hard this time because normal was kind of easy. Anyways, those students told me that they are still in the beginning of this game. This is not finished. There's more to come and they want feedback. They want feedback from you about this game so they can make the, the best game that they can possibly do. So to make this happen, they gave me 10 free copies of this game that I will distribute to you guys. And the only thing that you need to do to get this game now from me is to send any comment in the comment section below and I have 10 free copies to give away. So this time the first 10 comments will win this game. First, oh yeah, now it's getting a bit harder here, I can tell. Oops. Yeah, so the first 10 comments who are going to comment on this video are going to win this game and can give feedback to the, to the three uh, Swedish students who made Vapor Wave. So if you don't, if you're not gonna win, but still want to pick this up, you can get this from the Google Daydream Play Store, and it's going to set you back very fair one dollar and ninety nine cents. So the developers of this game, they are not doing this full time. They are, as I told you, they are students. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is a challenge here. So they are students and they are doing this in their free time. And I think for doing this in their free time, they did a pretty, pretty good job. Probably before I did actually die, but I, I simply didn't see those cubes coming because they, they do come from all kinds of directions. Probably there's nothing wrong with this game, but there's only th something wrong with my skills. Okay, I totally won this level. Okay, I hope you already commented on this video and tried to win this game. Ah! Oh. Now it gets wild. So, uh, my comment for the for those three developers from Sweden, do add some more enemies because there's only the cubes coming at me and on the long run that does get repetitive, yeah? So, <laughs> even though there's now lots of cubes coming at me. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is, is getting a bit more complicated now. But still, it would be much more interesting if there was other types of enemies coming at you and not only those those cubes. Okay, well, wave 12. Oh, that was a close call here. I do think there's nothing, nothing um, else is happening in this game, other than more cubes are coming at you at a, at a faster speed, like now. Oh, cool, get it. And now wave 14, 14 danger. Ah, oh, this guy's coming down again. 
But I think the only trick he has in his sleeves is sending more cubes at me. And shoot at him too. But anyways, it's all about the cubes, I think. I don't I don't think I can destroy this guy. Anyways, I do like the game aesthetics, and now I'm dead. I, I do think before the deaths were also legit, and it was simply my fault. So, I think that's, that's it for this Daydream District Discovers. Yeah, let me get out of here. And also show you... Okay, again, I have this beautiful VR marks. Well. I'm going to wear them with pride and uh, this is this was this week's episode of Daydream District Discovers Vaporwave from three awesome Swedish students and they did the right thing. They connected with me at Sebastian at daydreamdistrict.com and told me about the game so I can tell you about their game and you can check it out on the Daydream Play Store for $1.99 or for free if you leave a comment fast enough. So that's it for this week's Daydream District Discovers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. And now keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.